Welcome to this introduction to the coursework section of my English 111 Blackboard site. This is Dr. Campbell speaking. This presentation includes nine frames with voice over only, not action shots, in order to make the file size smaller and ensure that each of you can view it. A transcript of this presentation is available in the Blackboard course. I've licensed the presentation and transcript under a Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike license, which allows use by anyone anywhere as long as the information is attributed to me and shared alike with all other users. This presentation is an introduction to all modules in the coursework section. We will cover these main topics. First, course description. Then, learning outcomes and standards. Then, assignments. Then, directions. Finally, plagiarism, cheating, and citing incorrectly. The course description is determined by the North Carolina Community College System Office and is used in all community colleges in North Carolina. Please see the syllabus for a complete course description. In the next frames, we'll cover the other four items here in a little more detail. The learning outcomes and standards, the assignments, the directions, and definitions of plagiarism and cheating. Courses at Forsyth Tech have four types of learning outcomes and standards. Course learning outcomes are set by the North Carolina Community College System and are used by all community colleges in North Carolina. Module learning outcomes are set by individual instructors for each learning module. Module learning outcomes are determined by applying the requirements of the North Carolina Community College System and the local English department to the sequence of assignments in each course. Technical standards and the statement of the written communication universal competency are determined by Forsyth Tech and apply to all degrees we offer. That means that those standards are expected of all students who complete a degree at Forsyth Tech. This course has been designed to meet the basic requirements of all four of those outcomes and standards. As you progress through all courses needed for your degree, you will build upon and expand your expertise in all four. See the main syllabus section in Blackboard for a complete listing of all outcomes and standards that apply to this course. Relevant course learning outcomes and module outcomes are listed as well on the entry point to each module. All assignments are designed to meet one or more of the learning outcomes and standards. The quizzes are stand-alone assignments related to the reading in that module. However, each writing assignment in a module builds on all assignments in that module and in all previous modules. Review all assignments in all modules before beginning a new writing assignment. All assignments are designed to meet one or more of the learning outcomes and standards. Each assignment in a module builds on all previous assignments in a particular sequence. The sequence of assignments is this. First, you'll have one or more assigned readings with a study guide for each one. As you work through the assigned reading, answer the items on the study guide. Then you'll have a quiz on the assigned reading. As you take the quiz, 
refer to your study guide and make a note of any items you miss. After completing the quiz, look up the correct answers in the reading assignment. Then you'll have a discussion board posting. That posting will contain either your response to a reading or an early draft of a paper. Use what you have learned in the readings, quizzes, and assignment instructions in order to compose your discussion board assignment. For an early draft of a paper, use what you have learned from the readings and all previous assignments in order to pre-write, organize, and write your draft. Next, you'll have peer responses. Help your classmates by responding to the postings of two or more of them. Use what you have learned and the assignment directions to find at least one strength and one weakness and to suggest a revision that can strengthen each classmate's writing. Next, you'll write the final draft of your paper. Use what you have learned in the reading and in your classmates' and instructors' responses in order to edit, proofread, and revise your early draft. Some modules will include cumulative tests. These will include items from all quizzes given since the previous major test. The post-test will include items from all previous quizzes and tests. The directions for all writing assignments will contain the following basic components. The content of your writing, including audience, purpose, and text, that is, the genre or mode of writing assignment, such as literacy narrative. The context is an assignment for this class, but you are encouraged to determine your own audience and writing context, so long as you follow the directions for the assignment. Correct grammar is important to be sure that your audience can read your writing easily and follow your points. Remember that in this class and in employment and personal life outside this class, your audience members will come from many parts of this country and many other countries. Standard edited English is included in the textbook and your reading quizzes. Please proofread all your writing carefully for correct grammar before submitting it. In this class, MLA document form will be required for all final papers beginning with Module 2. A sample paper is included there. No formal documentation is expected until the final research paper. All papers and short writing assignments until then should be taken from your own experiences as noted in the assignment directions. Each set of directions includes submission method. Please follow those directions carefully. A grading rubric is included at the end of each set of directions. The full directions in the rubric should be used to write your own assignments and to comment on your classmates' writing. Plagiarism, cheating, and citing incorrectly may be defined differently by different instructors. These definitions are used in this class. Plagiarism means using another's words or ideas as your own without citing the source. The grade for plagiarism is a zero on that assignment. Continued plagiarism results in a formal charge of violating the student code of conduct. An example of plagiarism is this. If you write about your grandmother's recipe for coconut cake and claim that you created the recipe, then you are plagiarizing your source. In that case, just write that it's your grandmother's recipe, not your own. You are citing or documenting your source if you name the source in your paper. Formal academic papers require much more documentation than that but less formal papers like personal narratives do not. See the textbook readings 
and assignment directions for ways to avoid charges of plagiarism. Cheating means doing something the instructor directs you not to do. In this class, the grade for cheating is a zero on that assignment. Continued cheating results in a formal charge of violating the student code of conduct. An example of cheating is this. In many classes, your instructor does not allow you to use your answers on a study guide when you take a quiz or test. If you do use those answers during the quiz or test, then you are cheating. In this class, however, you are expected to complete each study guide before taking the quiz or test and to refer to your study guide answers when you take the quiz or test. In all classes, be sure you know what your instructor expects and allows. Another example of cheating is rewriting a classmate's paper or a paper written by anyone else and submitting it as your own. Please do not do that. Trust yourself and your own ideas. Having someone else write your paper for you is a case of cheating. Finding a paper on the internet and using it as you found it or rewriting it and submitting it as your own is cheating. Citing incorrectly means citing a source but citing it incorrectly or incompletely. In this class, incorrect citation counts like a grammar error, not a case of plagiarism. Some instructors count incorrect citations as cases of plagiarism. I do not. The grade for citing incorrectly in this class will be points deducted from your final grade for that assignment. This is the last frame in this introduction. In this presentation, we have covered the following main topics. First, course description. Then, learning outcomes and standards. Then, assignments. Then, directions. Finally, plagiarism, cheating, and citing incorrectly. If you would like to review these topics, you may play this presentation again or see the PDF or Word file titled English 111 Coursework Introduction included in this part of Blackboard. Thank you for listening to this presentation.